Dear third semester civil stream students, I welcome you again into my another video. Hope you are all doing well and hope you have attempted your first paper with good score over there. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how was your SOM paper. So today I will discuss uh, the passing package for you students for the another subject that is engineering survey. Subject code is BC302. We have here three passing modules. Let me discuss them first over here. Okay, that is module first, module fifth, and module third one are the passing. So here we have some super important questions. Like in the module first, we have what is surveying. Briefly explain the classification of a survey based on the object of the survey. Explain briefly laser distance meter and explain briefly various types of chain. What are the advantages, disadvantages of planned table surveying? This is the super important question. Next one we have explained in brief about a uh, topographical survey, cadastral survey, hydrographic survey, control survey, underground survey. So explain classification of survey by objective of survey. Discuss in detail about the EDM global positioning system and list and discuss the sources of errors in compass survey. Explain the classification of survey by nature of survey and distinguish between plan and geodetic survey. So this is all about your module first which is a passing module. Next passing module is module third. Explain the characteristics of contours. What do you mean by contour? Explain the factor governing the choice of the proper contour interval. Differentiate between direct and indirect methods of contouring. Explain the procedure of data refinement and plotting in CAD using total station. Define the following station, turning point, foresight and backside. With a neat sketch, explain profile leveling. And next one, seventh, which is uh, explain the procedure of conducting the uh, longitudinal section and cross section by using label. Explain how coordinates are measured using a total stations. Last one we have explained in detail how do you create job files, importance of backside data, coordinate data recording in total stations. This is all about your module third which is again a passing module. Next passing module is module fifth. List the GPS errors. What are the applications of drones? Explain any one. List the different types of drones. What are the advantages of drones? Explain any one. Outline the process of drone surveying. Explain any four drone surveying requirements. What is absolute and differential positioning with GPS? Explain about Gagan system in India. What are the applications and uses of remote sensing and GIS engineering surveying? Explain briefly the various types of GPS receivers. And last one we have explain the terms that is spatial data and uh, raster vector and geocoding used in GIS. So this is all about your three passing modules. Now let me come to the module second which is the combination of numerical part as well as theoretical portions. So I will discuss here only the theoretical portions for the numericals you have to refer previous year question papers and model question paper. So model second we have here with a neat sketch explain the measurement of horizontal angle by method of repetition with necessary standard tabular format. Explain temporary adjustment of dumpy level. What are the accessories and advantages of total station survey. Explain in detail how horizontal angle is measured with the total station. Explain in detail the procedure for differential leveling by plan of collimation method using dumpy level. Define the following terms vertical axis, plate level, transiting, chain phase, collimation error, swinging. Explain the temporary and permanent adjustments of the theodolite. And uh, you have to refer previous question papers for, for numericals as I earlier said. So again, we have here model four, which is again a combination of numerical as well as theoretical portions. So theoretical portions are here obtain an expression for simple curve by Rankine's method. List out the elements of a simple curve with neat sketches. For applying Rankine's method, provide the procedure of setting out of horizontal curve. Explain the procedure of setting out two room building by central line method. Explain how areas are measured by trapezoidal and Simpson's rule. Explain the various types of vertical curves and its applications. What is transition curve with aid of figure? List out necessities of transition curves. So again, you have to practice numericals from previous year question papers and model paper which I have already uploaded on my Instagram account. So this is all about your super important questions for your subject BCV302. So make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority and I wish you all the best for your examination. Make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. Thank you.